Hello everyone and welcome back to Chrono's Place Final Fantasy VII. In between episodes, I went back to Mount Corel where the the tracks make a kind of like Ferris wheel or that's not the word I'm looking for. I'm looking for uh roller coaster. That's the word I'm looking for. And I grinded out Aerith's level two limit break. I also got her second uh level two limit break as well, which is actually pretty dope as it takes her limit break and makes everyone else in the party that's in the active party have a limit break so it's actually pretty good uh it's co yeah i mean one limit break for two that's not bad i also ended up getting clem hazard or climb hazard i think i usually call it uh for cloud and clear tranquility for yuffie which is a recovery ability which is pretty dope um this is gonna be the party for right now well, it will be changing shortly. We still have some areas to explore left in the Nibel Nibelheim uh, mansion, but we shouldn't be here for too, too long. So remember back where cha uh, Chaos, yeah, uh, where Sethroth lost his goddamn mind. Well, we're going to go there and uh, we need to kill that guy before we do anything. Please do not confuse me. That's not good. Um, hmm. how do I want to handle this? I guess keep doing that. Hopefully it dies. It did. Great. Um, Aqua Long, go. All right, great. Uh, we made it. May have gained like one or two levels on. Oh, there we go for Aerith. Uh, trying to get out the uh, requirements needed for Aerith's level two limit break. I will probably go and do her level 3 one not too long from now, but we have a little bit of time before we have to worry about that. Do you have recovery? Even though we have Cure 2, Cure 1 still is really good for what what levels our party are at right now. It's a... Uh, Cure 2 is kind of overkill. Oop, sorry. Just had the speed up there. We uh, fought that pendulum axe thing, dude. Now, uh... Do I want to do that first, or... It doesn't matter. Let's do this. Actually, we have new random encounters down here. And no, at all, battle music down here, which is kind of a nice touch, actually. Uh, let's see. What do we have for summons? Ramu? Sure. I don't know if these guys are weak to anything, but... They have, like, vampire skills. That's about it. Makes sense, right? They're bats. I think this is the first time we saw Ramu in this... game... I don't remember using him. We've seen Efrit, we've seen Tifo. I don't. I think we saw Titan as well. Yeah, the damage I put on that one is about half of like our enemy skills. So I think it costs just a. Actually, I think it costs half as well, doesn't it? Let's check. No, it costs more. Holy crap! That's that's. Awful. <laughs> that, <laughs> that is just bad. Hey, Sethy. Sethiroth. Being here brings back memories. Are you going to participate in the reunion? I don't even know what a reunion is. Genova will be at the reunion. Genova will join the reunion. Becoming a calamity from the skies. Genova, a calamity from the skies? You mean she wasn't an agent? I see. I don't think you have the right you have the right to participate. I will go north past Mount Nibble. If you wish to know, then to follow. Union Calamity from the Skies? Sutheroth used the Thermateria! It's super effective! Nice barrel roll type thing there. What's this? This is the Destruct ma uh, Materia. Uh, what does that unlock? I actually kind of forget. Uh, D-Barrier, D-Spell, and Death. So, D-Barrier, I think that just removes defense, right? It's like, uh, well, it's D-Protect. I never use them. Though I think if you level this up, you can get, uh, protection against death if you add like that add status uh, effect thing. Where the hell is it? 
Yeah, that one. Added effect. You know, you could probably have something here as well. Hey, Odin! Uh, you know what? Sure, why not? Alright, there's nothing else down here in this room, and Tifa and uh, Yuffie and Aerith decide they were just like, yeah, we're sick of that. Let's go back to nowhere. And in here, we have a coffin! Excuse me, I'd like to talk to the coffin. To wake me from my nightmare. Who is it? I don't know you. You must leave. You were having a nightmare. You'll dream about bad things if you sleep in a place like this. Huh. A nightmare. My long sleep has given me time to atone. What are you saying? I have nothing to say to strangers. Get out. This mansion is the beginning of your nightmare. You can say that again. Do you know something? Talk about Setheroth. Like you said, this mansion is the beginning of a nightmare. No, it's not a dream, it's for real. Setheroth has lost his mind. He found the secrets behind this, uh, hidden in this mansion. Setheroth? You know Setheroth? A nice backflip. You start first. And we fade to red. And kind of flash there. And that's how it was. So Satheroth knows he was created five years ago. And about the Genova project. He was missing, but has just recently reappeared. He has taken many lives and is seeking the promised land. Now it's your turn. Sorry, I cannot speak. That's dirty! <laughs> Aerith. Hearing your story is yet another sin for me. More nightmares shall come to me now than I previously had. Now please, leave. No! No, get out here and talk to me! You're still here? Who are you? At least tell us your name. I was with Shinra's Manufacturing and Administrative Research, also known as the Tux, for some reason. Vincent! He's a cool character. He's a vampire. Well, okay, not legitimately, but he looks like a vampire. Vincent. The Turks! Formerly of the Tux. I have no affiliation with Shinra now. And you? Cloud, uh, formerly of Soldier. You are also with Shinra. Then do you know... <clears throat> then do you know Lucretia? 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 I don't know. Who? Lucretia. The woman who gave birth to Setheroth. Gave birth? Wasn't Genova Setheroth's mother? That isn't completely wrong, but just a theory. A game theory. He was born from a beautiful lady. That lady was Lucretia. Where is Luc... Uh, Lu... Eh, nah, it's probably Lucretia. She was the assistant to Professor Gast of the Genoa Project. Beautiful Lucretia. A human experiment. There was no way to cancel the experiment. I couldn't stop her. That was my sin. I let the one I loved, the one I respected most, face the worst. So your punishment was to sleep? That's strange. Aerith. <laughs> Just throwing shade. Yo. I don't want to let you sleep. Get up. Okay, fine. What do we have here? There's an enemy down here. It's like, uh... Oh, this guy. He is Ying and Yang. He's actually two in one enemies. Let's see... What Odin does? 80 MP! Ow! Quit it! Please don't hurt me. Okay, well that wasn't that bad. So Odin has two attacks. He's kind of like Chokamog. Uh, one is his st standard uh, Zen Setsuken, I think it's called, where he just kills everyone. And the other one is this one, where he throws his lance like he just don't care and causes non-elemental damage. 
I think he uses this one if the enemy is immune to death, though. It's not random. That could just be wrong. It's not even that good, to be quite honest. Are you splitting? Oh, Yang exited. I think that just means he's dead. <coughs> oh, Bolt 2 is not good. Um, I don't think they're strong against water. Okay, oh no! Oh, and no, he said Yang's excited. Which I think that means he's weak against magic now, but also weak, uh, strong against physical. No, actually, I'm getting this completely wrong. Yang is strong against physical. Yin was weak against magic. Maybe they're just not... Maybe Yang's just stronger than Yin. I don't know. Good job, Yuffie. He's a unique enemy. You don't see many enemies like that in this game, ever. Well, not ever, ever, but for the most part. Wait. If I go with you, will I meet Hojo? Don't know, but we're after him and Sethiroth, so I guess sooner or later. When the hell did we start going after Hojo? Because I'm pretty sure we saw him at Costa de Sol and we were just like, uh, no. Goodbye, have fun on your vacation. Lucretia. All right, I've decided to go with you. That sure was a uh, that sure was a quick change of heart. Being a former tuck, I may be of help. All right then. And we get Vincent. You won't won't you be my Valentine? I guess so. Let's uh switch out. Hmm. Yeah, we'll switch out Yuffie for now, I think. Now, Vincent is actually fairly good. Uh, we want to put him in the back row. Um, his stats look like this. That's Cloud. So, yeah, he has a pretty high natural magic ability, and he has all right strength. He's not as high as, like, you know, Vincent or Cloud. I mean, Cloud or Aerith. But he can get the job done. Now, Vincent uses guns. Bang, bang. And some of his guns have extremely high um, accuracy. And we're going to be getting one actually fairly soon. And he makes great use of the uh, death blow materia, which is fantastic. And I can't wait to put it on him. Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's going to be pretty good, especially later in the game. But he's also very good with dealing like with, uh, you know, those cactar people or, or enemies that have high evasion. Where is Death Will? There you go, dog. You can have that. Um, I don't want to give him too much in the way of uh, materia that's going to lower his attack. I guess I can give you throw. Yeah, I could even give you a sense, I guess. But yeah, I'm going to go outside and save and heal, so I'll meet you there. Alright, healed up and save. Uh, did we talk to you guys? I think we did. Yeah. I think one of you guys gave me something before. Probably another luck source or something. Oh, actually, you know what? That's new. Uh, if you go into the Nibelheim mansion, um, or Shinra mansion, then come out after Sethiroth's cutscene, that guy will say over the mountain, just to give you a hint, just in case you, I don't know, forgot or haven't played in a while. He went outside and saved and just hadn't come back for a couple days. Uh, I don't know, but it's it's a nice touch. So, this is the same exact area from the cutscene or the, the flashback way earlier in the game where uh, you came with Sethiroth. Now, these guys are weak to fire, so just use beta. Uh, we have a... We do have a, hmm, we, yeah, we have a limit break for Aerith, but I'm going to save that for an upcoming boss battle. Well, no. Well, maybe, I don't know. Yeah, all leveled up, good job. I think all leveled up twice. Um, yeah, so, this dog here, our, our lovely friend Vincent here, He's pretty unique when it comes to his limit breaks. He transforms into different types of monsters. A lot of them 
Well, some of them. One of them looks like it's straight out of, uh, you know, Friday the 13th. But you lose control out of them, and each one has a certain element or gimmick to it. This this one, a Galle uh, Galleon Beast, I believe that's how you pronounce it, um, transforms into a behemoth-looking monster. He's a pine-sized be behemoth-looking monster. But he does fire elemental spells. And you have no control out of, o over him. It's, it's just berserk, but he uses different abilities. Uh, that's not going to be helpful up against a boss who absorbs fire. Which is coming up. Which is uh, not good. So yeah, we, uh, we don't want him to use that in the upcoming boss battle. Uh, you just got to be a little bit careful of that. So here's an upgrade for Cloud, Rune Blade. It's one more slot and still double. I could have gotten a better... Um, a better thingamabob at uh, Cosmo Canyon. I didn't want to. I don't, I don't, I don't think we need that. We don't, we don't need the extra attack, especially if we're using a lot of magic. Uh, these guys are... Gonna die. They're the same as the ones from Sonic Speed. I think they're weak to wind. So if you have a, a Chocomog attached to your weapon, you'll one shot them just as much as uh, Aerith does. I just I, I want to work on her kills as much as possible. Cloud has the other enemy materia, uh, enemy skill materia on right now. Um, I should probably set him up as the healer. I have Vincent with uh, all recover on his weapon. It's like one of the only, like, double material growth linked weapons, which is kind of sick. But we are going to be replacing that in the relatively near future. Hey, Ifrit leveled up. Dope. Yeah, Aerith needs, uh, I think another 80 kills to get to her level 3 limit break. And she probably is, at this point, only at... 10 for this level, maybe? Maybe 15. If you focus fire... Come on, get up there. There we go. If you focus fire uh, with, you know, magic and just certain characters, you can grind them out pretty fast. Uh, that was plus a uh, barrette, which is a piece of equipment for... Or a piece of... A weapon for uh, Red 13, which I don't think we'll be ever using. <laughs> not, not that we'll never be using Red 13, just we probably won't be using that piece of equipment. Alright, so I made it all the way back down to where the split was, and Cloud has a limit, limit break, and we're going to save that. Uh, I think, yeah, what we we'll want to do is have him use his limit break, then have Aerith use her Fury brand limit break, and then do all that? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who do we have? We have... Uh, a dragon. This is the one that Sethroth made short work of way earlier in the game. Do we even have steel? I didn't put steel on. That's unfortunate. Uh, this guy it can... Well, you can steal gold armlets from him. Which... Is fine. Let's see if this works. But we, uh, we really don't need that right now. Uh, we'll be getting... Ooh, miss. Nice. We'll be getting a piece of equipment... Not that far from now, where uh, it's just as good, if not better. Oh, Cloud is gonna die. Oh, never mind. There's a save point down here that we can use for uh, a tent. Good job leveling up, Vincent, and a fire fang. Why don't I have steel on anyone? Did I just not have? I guess I just. And dumb. Um, yeah. That's... Why did I not have steel on anyone? That's... That was my bad. I could have got a gold armlet. Which is, uh... Or amulet. One, one or the other. Which would have been nice. Now, before you take one of those pipes down, you want to get that ladder down so you can come up and, uh, get the other pipes without having to backtrack all the way uh, through the optional area of this place. Let's see. What do I want to go for first? I guess, yeah, the all materia. Oh, these guys. Uh, I believe these guys can paralyze you, so be careful. There's the paralyzation, actually. I think it hit, too. Oh, yeah. You hit all of us, huh? 
Well. Oh, okay, never mind. Didn't last that long. That's good. I was gonna say, this could be a little bit hectic, but it wasn't. Woo! Should probably actually go to the save point first. Hey, an ether. Yeah, uh, let's take pipe four down. Hopefully I actually went to the right. I did not go to the right pipe. Why didn't I not? Why did I not go to the white right pipe? Did I hit the wrong? Wait a minute. Vincent, do it. Also, Cloud, can you heal everyone? Oh, you're gonna use Berserk Dance? It's not that good, dog. Can you use your, like, growl thingy? Come on, Vincent. No, that's not, not the one that I was looking for, dog. You get one more shot, man. Don't miss a chance to blow. This opportunity only comes once in a lifetime. What the hell, Vincent? Use your other ability! Alright, fine. One more time! God, I hate you, Vincent. That's not even true. I like Vincent. I forget what it's called, but he, he does like little balls on the screen. Actually, is it fire or lightning? Um... Pretty sure. Yeah, it's fire. All right, just making sure. Um, yeah, because I was gonna say, like, it, it works. You can't use it against the upcoming boss, and it must have been because it was fire. Because the upcoming boss is immune to fire or absorbs fire. Let's go up top and. Yeah, I must have accidentally like hit the wrong. There. That's it. There we go. Oof. And we get an all materia. There's the boss, by the way. You you wanna you wanna heal up before you fight them. I already preemptively put the uh, bolt ring onto Cloud. Maybe put Elemental Ramu on. Uh... On uh, what's her face, Aerith. Yeah, I mean, that might work. If I might work, I mean, it would at least help. Guess I could put it on uh, Vincent. No, he has the power glove on. Actually, I'm not even going to be fighting the boss just yet. I want to actually do the side area first before, uh, before that. Actually, you know what? We could do that, too. Do what, Kronos? Um, go through the side area first. No, do this. This weapon right here is called the Power Soul. It's actually a, a weapon for Tifa that's fairly good as it increases her attack power based on if she's in critical health or is impaired with a uh, status ailment like death or doom, not death. Um, it For one, so like say she's at critical health, her attack is multiplied by four, I believe. And if she has another ailment on her or alignment on her like a doom, it increases it by another four times, so eight times her damage output. It's really, really good. It's actually fantastically great. Um, but you do either need to put like death sentence on her, which puts doom on her, or you need to have her in critical hell. The easiest way to do that is with an item called the curse ring, where she starts the battle off in death sentence. Uh, Another easy way to do it is just kill her and revive her with the Phoenix down. Thing is, though, when you go up against like an enemy, like a boss, that can outpace you or has uh, a group-wide healing attack, it can lead to her dying fairly often and kind of negates the benefit of it. Though it is really, really good, uh, especially like random encounters late game, if you can have uh, a material called Slash All or Attack All, which allows you to attack a group of enemies. Mixed with her having the Cursed Ring, then she can just kind of clear out uh, random encounters as long as they're not immune to like physical attacks. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's good, but I don't think I'll do that right now. Yeah, I probably won't do it right now. Um, I will, I still need to give Tifa, uh, Aerith some uh, love with the kills and Vincent is new, so I want to keep him around. 
Uh, you know what? We're going to call it here for today. Next time, we're going to go through the side area, and then we'll fight that bad Larry down there. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, one of my videos, I can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. And if you're into watching me live stream at twitch.tv slash Kronos, please give my channel a follow to be notified when I go live. Either way, thanks for watching. Hope you all have a great day.